Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Bidia Truder, welcome back to Rome Total War Remastered. Well, last time, the Empire got bigger, and then it got smaller again, because yes, we took some territory off the Gauls, then the Scipiones took some territory off us. And basically, now we're stuck in an unwinnable war against a never-ending tide of Romans. So today, today I've got a plan, and the plan is basically escape, okay? This Batavium thing, it's not working, but... It served its purpose, because we managed to get two crucial things out of that city. Number one, a blacksmith and a sacred grove of Zalmoxis. So with just a tiny, tiny little bit of retraining, I can get all of my melee units up to silver weapons. That's plus two, which is huge. Absolutely huge. And secondly, a massive fleet. A fleet I can use to flee down south along the coast of Italy, destroying any town dumb enough to not be properly defended, on our way to richer pastures far afield, shall we say. But before any of that, yes, we've kind of got to um, escape. Because the Julii are here, they have brought one a hell of a flippin' army, so... Okay, let's see if we can, you know, take care of them, because obviously I can't really heal up any damage I take, so we're gonna have to do this one carefully, okay? Still, on the plus side, I have got, yes, one a hell of a command stat next to this guy. So, my troops should stand firm, fight well. And he's actually got himself no archers, barely any cavalry. In fact, mainly it's just a giant pile of, uh, yeah, infantry with a handful of velites and then three general units. Interesting fight, but I think we got this. Ah, yes, of course. They're in precisely the same place as uh, Gaul was back in the day, so hopefully things will go as well for these bastards. Also, I love being able to just rearrange the unit cards uh, however you want. That's really nice. I enjoy that a lot. Okay, same basic starting point here. Hide on the corner, see if we can use the Scythians to bait anyone forward uh, into range of the towers. Because if we could, uh, that'd be good news right there. Here we go, Scythians coming for... Fascinating. Okay, never really looked uh, too up close to the Scythians as they fire, but uh, if it works for you guys, it works for you guys. There we go, that's a little bit less bananas, good job. In fact, if I could pull it off, the best target would be the War Dogs. Because, uh, yes, if you can take out the trainers uh, before they release the dogs, uh, at that point, yeah, the dogs just auto die, at least they used to. So, uh, let's see if maybe we can land the odd hit. And if not, then actually, you know what? Let's do that last. I'd rather use up as much ammo as I can on, yes, the heavy cavalry. Start depleting their HP pool if I can. Because, yes, this is the key. What I'm doing is I'm just softening these guys up. Because General's Bodyguards, they have got themselves two hit points. So what I'm doing right now is I'm eating that first hit point up. So when the actual fight does come, they go down nice and easy. But if I can hit them in this side, where I'm maybe hitting the General, I might get lucky and take him out immediately. And you see, all of a sudden, now people are dying a lot faster. The first few volleys did almost nothing, but now each volley is starting to reliably take out a handful of people, because their spare hit point has already been depleted. Okay, that's enough of that for you. Pull back over here. These guys are down to like, uh, what, 20 odd 7? Nope, 26. Never mind, fun of you arrows doing some good work over there. So, yeah, let's see if we can do something to... Uh, the dogs. Take them out before they get released, because dogs are irritating to deal with once they're off the chain. And yes, right now they are not actually attacking me. So in which case, guys, no. No, not him. Okay, we're done with him. I want you to come and, okay, just stop. Stop with anything. No fire at will. Fire at my target, please. There we go. That's better. Okay, most of them are about dead, General's about dead too, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to bring the Scythians uh, over here to the very edge of the map, so they can mop up anyone who's trying to flee. Okay, there's one unit of Astarte who's just decided they're going to be really damn ballsy today, so I see no reason why we don't go and say hello to them in just a second, but seriously, this is just a gift. Right here. They're going to get one peeler throw in, and peeler are really strong, which is a bit of a shame. But they're only hitting these guys, so it's fine. So yeah, some javelins in on top of them. And I've got some cavalry over on one side, some cavalry over on the other. Where's the damage general, by the way? There he is. Right, so 
These guys are going to be in trouble in a second because, yes, basically, if you just gently brush against infantry with cavalry in this game, then they fall apart. So that there, that's golden. Now, what we've also got here is, yes, Equitez 108, but that damage general. I would like to hit this damage general with my, uh, yeah, light cavalry. Just kill him right now. But you guys are redrawing. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Push forward a little bit here. Push forward a bit. I think we're in a position to start moving towards them. If I could hit the Equites with my generals, then we could take them off the field right now. That would severely hit their mobility, which I would appreciate. In fact, here comes a Roman general. Kind of swooping in around the edges here. Alright, get another wall cry going on. And then he's standing right next to the towers. Good. Good job. Uh, you just get over there. In fact, you know what? No need for me to necessarily engage. Just... Start laying down a little bit of fire. Maybe get one of my... Oh, guys, sorry. Didn't even realise you were there. Sorry, my mistake. Back off. Don't engage with the Town Watch. Luckily, that was Town Watch, not Astartes. They didn't even get a peeler throw in. Right, so you guys are just doing your own thing right now. Uh, do I want to send the Thracians in? To be honest, yes, I think we are fine. They've kind of caught me out of position here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to charge. I'm going to charge these guys at the back. I'm going to hit the dogs with one unit. I'm going to hit the Roman general with another. Okay, that unit's already breaking, which is pretty good. Thracians never even got involved. Uh, you guys just redrop your existing position. That's all absolutely fine. You guys are falling back, and I think we should have a, a good opportunity here. So yeah, hopefully we can just smash this guy right now. This is just a bit of a cavalry smash and grab. Uh, yeah, barbarian mercenaries are effective uh, in winter. So have you actually released the dogs yet? You have not, which is bad for you because it means you're going to break immediately. So we're just going to be able to kill all of them. Okay, apparently somebody's dead, but I'm not sure if it's this guy or not. I'm genuinely not sure. In fact, we might have already killed that guy. I've no clue. But we're chasing the dogs off, which is nice. Their general's coming in for revenge. He's not going to get the chance. We're just going to be much faster than him. So just go hide by the wall defences. Yeah, I've got an error I can fall back to. He doesn't. And now they're sort of spreading out a lot, actually. Like... Almost weirdly wide. That is weird. Okay. No, no, no. None of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Just draw up right here. If they want to come forward, uh, bring them nice and up to the wall defences. And seriously, you guys are determined to engage, aren't you? I mean... I've only killed one general so far. So if that's two general units, then I'm going to get a kill somewhere. There's a handful of leftover dogs, but we'll deal with that. That's fine. We've even got a tower to be helping us out here. Okay, they've both broken, so that's going to be another casualty in just a sack. By the way, Scythians, uh, uh, mop up the last of the war dogs. At some point, I'm kind of hoping they'll just decide, no, I don't want to do this anymore and flee. Because honestly, I'd be fine with them just fleeing. Okay, Roman general is now on that side. This side's pretty much unguarded. So I'm going to send my generals and the Scythians uh, around over here. Just to hit these cavalry and just knock them straight out of the fights. Oh, and we've got a confirmed second kill as well. So okay, you've already lost two family members. Well done, you stupid losers. I mean, honestly, if you idiots want to just, you know, hang out right here and not bother guarding this flank, I'm happy to just wrap it up because I suspect we can just wrap up the entire flank at this point. Here we go, general number one, general number two. Hang on, there's no generals. Okay, like, no, my generals, that's what I was talking about. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. But yes, at this point, I think we can see off the remainder of their cavalry pretty much. And their general is now panicking and going, oh god, I'm on the wrong side of the field, which is unfortunate. Because now he's going to rush over there, meaning this flank's now going to be completely unguarded. Dear, oh dear. The AI is doing its best, damn it, but it's just not good enough. And while that's happening, just start bringing my infantry up into position. Okay, in comes the Barbarian Cavalry, hitting straight into the Velites, and the Velites ain't gonna like that. No, nope. no they are not, and to be honest, I think at this point, with so many units breaking nearby, we can probably do a quick surround on this Astarte, and they might just break immediately too. So you guys are, they say they're eager for now. As soon as something hits them in the back, I suspect that's gonna change. Then again, their general isn't dead yet, so now we just hit them in the flank. They are shaken and... Uh, I mean, I'll give them. They're doing well. I was not expecting them to still be fighting, so I've lost a little bit of light cav here. But to be honest, I think... There we go, they're going. They're flipping going. They've decided, oh dear, I've made a mistake. No, 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 no. You don't get to leave. Get on them and stop them getting away. And officially, that was a heroic victory. Magnificent. Okay, Julii flee in 
that direction, bit on the odd side, but whatever. Still, two generals dead means they're done for good. Uh, okay, that means we can now get on with, uh, oh, there's a lot of retraining we could do. Okay, cavalry is the best bet. The problem is this is, uh, it is expensive uh, to do retraining. Really expensive, actually. So maybe just retrain the good stuff that's actually, you know, uh, going to do a competent job. And in particular, the generals would be nice, but they're so expensive. Oh yeah, we are struggling to actually get all of this retrained. But as long as the cavalry are done, and when I say cavalry, that guy's not done. I mean, this is what we can afford to do. This is literally all I can afford. The economy, of course, has been in less good shape ever since we lost Salona. That was a lot of taxpayers who are no longer, you know, paying tax. In fact, I'm suddenly a bit scared that the Julii might now be a bit too close to... Yes, my reinforcements. I mean, to be honest, that's... That's over 250 heavy cav. That might well be able to win this fight, regardless. So, I think we're okay. Ooh, Thrace wants me in on the Macedonian War, which... I am happy to do, just not this second, okay? I'm sorry. I will do it, just not right now. I'm a bit busy being at war with literally everybody else. Oh, gosh darn it. I think they failed to take Bailazora. I was really hoping they would because uh, it would have been... Uh, yeah, they attempted it, but it did not work out. Darn it. I was really hoping they would do well there. I think they hold Byzantium, though. I'm pretty sure they have taken that. So, okay. Probably best we didn't join up with that just this second. Now, how are you guys all doing right now? Oh, silver weapons on, like, some of you anyway. But I think the moment's here. It's time for us to go. We have done what we can. Okay, but unfortunately, I don't think we can stand up against constant attack from the ghouls and the Romans forever because they're just going to keep coming they are never ever going to stop and if i've got this much of my army tied up here i can't go elsewhere it's time to go okay bring the boat into position we're going to pick people up straight out of the town here so we're taking both the generals we're taking every single unit that's at full strength if we can that's all absolutely lovely and no mercenaries available so we are basically leaving this place pretty much abandoned uh, it will not be able to defend itself. Right, everyone on the boat. Everyone aboard. Well done, guys. But yes, at this point, I suspect this is um, not going to go... Not going to go well with this many troops present, actually. So now we just bring the boat over to here. And we can meet up with you. Spectacular. So now we have got the heavy cavalry. Oh, and now we've got the beginnings of an army. Maybe get a handful more troops for uh, Sagestica, just to try and vaguely dissuade the Romans from attacking. Though, uh, to be honest, I feel like, yeah, if he just comes straight over here and attacks Sagestica, we can't stop him. Alright, this entire side of the Empire, we're pretty much writing that off. We're just going to try and hold uh, Porolissum while we desperately look for, yeah, greener, more plunderable shores elsewhere. Aha, looks to me like Ghoul's going to be the one who makes... Never mind. Okay, it was the Julii after all. It was the army I just beat. Oh, that's just humiliating. I don't want them to have it. I wanted it to go to the bloody ghouls. Okay, well, that's annoying. Right, I was hoping maybe, yes, the ghouls would be uh, a better bet there. But what can you do? And with that, the great journey begins. So just bring the boat in this direction. Keep your eye out for what we can and can't see here. Salona. Looking not particularly well guarded, actually. I mean, I know it's petty, like catastrophically petty, but I wouldn't mind having it back, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it comes with gold. There is a literal gold mine right there. Let's just move a little bit closer, see what's, uh, what's going on. Because I think we could just get in here, smash this in a couple of turns, and then move straight on. Alright, I feel like that is in the spirit of our new pirate nation, alright? We are no longer Dacia, we are just the pirates formerly known as Dacia. Oh yeah, we're moving in, and we're taking out those damn archers that were so damn annoying before. 
And if you guys are planning to, I don't know, stop me in some way, then you'd be needing a fleet, wouldn't you? And that's kind of a shame, because, oh, oh dear, looks to me like I could just destroy all your stupid boats. Alright, get over here, let's see what we can see, and... Uh, Oh my goodness, it looks to me like the cities of Magna Graecia are extremely bloody vulnerable. I also don't see any other boats around here, so I'm assuming there's no chance of reinforcements. Okay, meanwhile in Macedonia, yeah, the Thracians are still trying to move in, and honestly they've got a fair whack here, though it looks a bit damaged, so... I think they could take that. Alright, a competent leader could just have that right now. Whether or not they have a competent leader, that's a different question. Oh, and they're coming in. And I'm going to be honest, I can't do a thing. Okay, that many troops? No, that's just... It's not going to fly. That's just no. I'm sorry, lads, there's nothing we can do for you. I mean, honestly, that's better than I could have done. 24 casualties? I feel like that's, uh, that's generous. And I'm not sure you're going to be too surprised to hear the first empire to cease to exist was, in fact, the Seleucids. Poor bastards didn't even make it to turn 30. And no sign of any help coming in at all from the Scipii, so yes indeed. They might well have had reinforcements over here, but they could not get them there because, as they say in Hamilton, you don't have the boats. I think that's what they said anyway, I might have misheard them. Just consider how many lives the Scipiones spent taking Salona, and how easily I'm going to take it back right now. Oh, and absolutely perfect, war dogs at the front door. So we can take down their handlers, meaning they'll just drop dead, and they literally can't do a thing to me because there's a gate in the way. Their own bloody gate is going to stop them actually attacking me. Spectacular. And here come the javelins! Oh my goodness, yes. I enjoy this. I deeply enjoy in Rome just watching missiles come in and utterly tearing apart bastard Romans. And in the end, all that was left was archers and velites, so nice simple cavalry charge deals with all of that. Marvellous. And the town is ours once again, though to be honest, I don't think we can hold it. So, I'm really sorry guys. I know we were originally planning to, you know, be best friends forever, but I don't want to garrison you. You're kind of worthless, so we're just going to be taking as much wealth as we can, leaving the tiniest skeleton garrison, and yeah, if you want to just, you know, keep providing us with gold out the mines, uh, that'd be great too. But yeah, I'll be taking the money instead, because I can't help but notice we're, um, I'm pretty sure we're now losing money every turn, because, uh, at least I thought we were. I think we were before we just took that town, because somehow we were into the negatives for a second, so... Uh, I mean, I really want Gaul to attack Patavium right now. That'd be great fun. Please do it. And actually, just out of interest, if one of you just wants to step outside for a second, are there any... There is a mercenary here. Okay, I'm going to leave that one mercenary, unless there's actually a better person to, uh, to leave behind. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather leave behind... Yeah, barbarian mercenaries and take the Illyrians with me, because the Illyrians are really strong. Yeah, go on, that's what we're doing. So, if anyone wants to, like, draw lots for who's going to be left behind, who's the most useless, by the way? It's probably... Ooh, you've got silver, but you've got experience. Experience is better. Okay, not sure how I managed to mess this up, but yes, the one without experience is the one that's got the actual silver weapons, which is not ideal, but whatever. So, okay, or I could leave behind... I'm gonna be honest, you guys are probably... Uh, now we've got the Sarmatians. Uh, yeah, merge you into you if we can. There we go. There's a 108 with both bars of experience. You can stay here. 26 men and their horses. And then just lower the tax rate and... Okay, even with the lower tax rate, they're not happy. Which I guess is uh, understandable under the circumstances. So... Uh, I mean, we could land straight here, but I don't really know what I'm walking into. So maybe the safer bet is just to wander down over here and then have a little bit of a look, see which city, if either, we actually want to attack. Here we go. There's Crotorn. There's Tarentum. Tarentum has a tiny bit less. There is like one tiny boat there. You are nothing. I don't know where the rest of the army is. It could be attacking Epirus. It could be bloody anywhere. Looks like Thrace wants to come in for another go. And honestly, they do have a fair shot. 
of clearing out these towns. Looks like they're a little bit, uh, yeah, under-garrisoned right now. Not that I can really throw stones on that topic. Oh, hang on. Did I just see... Oh, that's the Brutii piling into the Macedonians. Okay, the Macedonians are now screwed. They are being attacked from every direction. Which is good, because once upon a time, they were 100% thinking of attacking me. Now they're going to be busy. I want everybody as busy as possible attacking not me. Oh, here's nice. We're apparently just swimming in generals all of a sudden. So I think we've adopted somebody or possibly married someone in. And someone else just came of age. So you are feeling poorly, poor of the gods, whimsical nature. Okay, maybe a good commander with a bit of training. We'll see. Other lad, yeah. Again, it could potentially be a skilled commander with a bit of work. So how about we send... Uh, whichever one of you has actually got... Okay, none of you have got any management or any influence. Good work. Well, one of you is going over here anyway, just to, you know, slightly bulk up the garrisons with generals. And yeah, here we go. Thrace is desperately trying to make this happen. Pretty sure I just saw... Oh, yeah. That there. That's a Brutii attacking a Macedonian. Excellent. That is a Scipio fleet, but there's no one aboard it. And then... Okay. Four people. Only one... Only one in Crotorn. Okay, that's where we're going. Drop me off just outside Crotorn. We'll go in and we'll smash them. And hopefully there's no massive army standing nearby. Doesn't appear to be. There's some tiny armies around there, but it's nothing. And we can just get straight in and sort this straight out. Now, officially they've got walls. But honestly, do we care? No. No, we do not. Because they've got literally one unit of Hastati to guard the entire city. Now, we could take out the Scipio fleet, but honestly, I'm not sure what the point would be. There's also a decent-sized Julii fleet here, but again, there's nothing aboard, so I don't really see the point. I think we'd be better off maybe just going for a bit of an explore in this direction, seeing if maybe we can get eyes on then again. I don't want to go too much further afield, because as soon as we're done with this next turn, I want to be moving on before the Brutii come up with reinforcements. Also, officially next turn, we are going to be, um, bankrupt. So, potentially, Patavium was paying for a fair few of these here mercenaries. So, bit of a shame. What can you do? Okay, here's one I was not expecting. So, the Gauls are apparently now desperate for peace. Ah, because one, I've got a good reputation. And two, the Romans declared war on you, didn't they? Oh my goodness, if only we could have been working together against the Romans this entire time, but no, you had to be Dex. So I will gladly take your money, you stupid loser. Oh, and do you know what I can spend all this lovely, lovely money on? I can spend this money on a hot plight. This is why we want to come south, damn it. We got hot plight and we got spearmen. Sam Knights are hardly spectacular. They're a bit on the flimsy side. They don't hit very hard, but they're a good answer to cavalry. And very often, the only tough thing in the entire army is going to be the general's bodyguard. Now, Sam Knights are not necessarily going to win that fight, but they're going to slow down the general. They're going to grind them down. They're going to significantly weaken them. And if you can pepper them down with the Scythian mercs first, the Sam Knights can 100% get in there and get the kill. They are a good, solid unit. So we're going to be having all of that. Oh my goodness, we're actually... We're actually putting together a decent army at this point. And if you thought we were rich right now... Exterminate 10,000 people and claim 9,000 denarii. Why yes, yes I think I will. But no, we're not done with you yet. Because as far as the game's concerned, the worst thing you can do is just, you know, go in and exterminate town. But it's not, of course. There's nothing to stop me now strip mining the place. Because uh, I'm not going to be holding this place and I don't need militia barracks. So we'll just be selling some of that. And we'll be selling your... Then again, we could keep the market. I mean, the market makes money. Then we've got Shrine to Juno. Get rid of all of that nonsense. Do we actually need the arena? I mean, it is in its defense good for happiness. So... Okay, we'll sell the stables then. So yes, we're just kind of, you know, flogging buildings down the road. Maybe it's like Greece or something. No idea. So not only have we taken this place, we're up to, oh, 13,000. That's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. In fact, I'm starting to wonder, just, just out of interest, how many cities do the Brutii actually possess? Because they never took Apollonia. They haven't got Salona, and it looks to me like the Scipionas are going to go take that back, and fair enough, I can't really stop them. 
I don't think they ever made it down over here to Greece. And, well, theoretically, they could have Syracuse, but it's unlikely. I think this might actually be all they've got. Meaning, if I were just to kill them right now, that could be... That could be the end of the Brutii. I mean, if the Brutii are dead, that's an entire... This was not the plan, but it could work out really nicely. Right, everyone round the corner, we're attacking Tarentum too. Right the flip now, in fact. In fact, you know what, could we actually... If you get out the way, could we potentially... Wait, did you... Did you guys never build a port? In flipping Croton, you bloody idiots. Right, okay. So, hmm. I think we're staying. So, okay, uh, you need to get out the way, please. So that should be a nice, easy victory, presumably. Clear victory. Didn't actually sink anybody, but you have to naff off. I mean, we could put the place under siege right now. In fact, we could probably do that anyway. Thank you so much for building these roads, by the way. It's going to make it way easier to conquer you. Right, everybody out, everybody out. Though, actually, to be honest, we should probably leave. Okay, I wasn't planning to be able to hold this, but, like... Maybe we can? I don't even know. Okay, send like one mercenary barbarian chappy chap. That's 25% public order, which is hardly spectacular. Um, okay, maybe like give them some uh, some happy buildings. Give them happy buildings. That's going to be great. Oh, I see part of the problem, by the way. Uh, they're a very long way away from the capital. Yeah, sorry. My empire has got a bit out of hand in terms of uh, the reach of it. Um, okay. If I was to make a Quincum the new capital, then again, Sagestica is... Okay, I'm going to make Sagestica the capital. Congratulations. That means we have to lower the, the tax rate in over here. By the way, over here, we can finally get those bloody gold mines down. Because why not? Yeah, we definitely need to lower the, uh, the tax rate across the empire. But what does that do over to here? I mean, it's still only 45%, which is hardly spectacular. Okay, deploy a couple of Illyrian mercs. Okay, that sorted that out. 75% will do for now. John, you're sitting on a giant pile of useless, unnecessary bastards. Send the guy who's good at managing cities to manage the city. Dear oh flippin' dear. Yes, that there, that works much better. In fact, now we can put the tax rate. Okay, fine, never mind. We can move the uh, the capital back a little bit more in this direction. Sorry, my mistake. Maybe a quincumer would be a good... Okay, hang on. A quincumer could be... There it is! Sorry, I lost the button. Okay, so now the tax rate can go back to normal right over here. And normal over here as well. And we are still making money, like... Somehow, it's very unclear how, but we are. Um, okay. Salona, we can't do a thing there, because we never actually fixed the walls in Salona, so they can just walk in through the hole in the wall. Marvellous. Um, okay. Then, the Julia have been kept busy by the Gauls. This is actually starting to work. I don't know how, but it is. Then maybe slap down a one at tower, just for visibility, and then start attacking this guy. He falls back, so I can just move on the city. And this city's got nothing but a basic barricade, despite being a large city. So, I think if we win this fight tomorrow, I've just defeated the Bruti. I think they're done. I think that's actually... Okay, this was not part of the plan, but I have really done the mother of all backstabs here. Okay, well, if we manage to pull this off, then we don't need to escape immediately. So, I can send the boat over here to explore a bit. So, there's Masana. And, uh, yes, Syracuse is uh, Skippy I held. I very much doubt that the Brutii have made any more progress against, say, uh, Carthage. So that would suggest that actually... I think this might be it. I think we might be about to kill a Roman family, and I don't even know how we've done it, but I think we're gonna do it. Also, yes, just thinking about it. The culture penalty, I believe, is the same as the happiness bonus. So I may as well just tear down the arena, just for the sake of, you know, having the money, to be honest. Oh, and big news, the big day is here. It is plague in Macedonia time. Marvellous. And the Romans are also attacking, yes, Carthage. And Gauls attacking Britain. Honestly, I feel like you guys have got enough on your plate. That's probably why you were willing to pay so much for peace. They're getting a bit desperate because they're at war with everybody. As am I, as it turns out. And actually, that's a very good point. I think a spy would be an excellent addition to the local area. Let's get a spy out, because agents are A-OK -okay into this rule set. That's not a problem. Because, yeah, once he's out and about, I can start seeing what's going on around, say, yeah, the rest of the Roman territory. Keep an eye on it all. 
Oh yes, and more mines. Get mines in Segestica. Not sure how long we're going to be able to hold Segestica, but like, you know, maybe at least for the moment. And gold will literally pay for itself because it is gold. Here we go. Eyes on Capua over here. No port. Again, AI making terrible decisions. Uh, not particularly well guarded by the Luxy of it to me. And they have... Sorry, did you guys call off the... I think they're trying to defend each other. Okay, so this is a thing I now know happens. This is a change to Roman AI, which is if Rome itself comes under attack, the Romans will try and help each other. They're not going to screw each other over. So I don't know if that applies here, where they're going, oh, flip, one of the other families is about to die. We better go and assist. I'm not sure that's why he gave up the siege, because he would have won that fight. Absolutely no question whatsoever he'd have won. Well, screw this nonsense. Let's go in and sort all this out. Got a couple of principes right there, so yeah, heavy infantry, but nothing too dramatic. We should have more than enough firepower to deal with this. Okay, standard formation at the front door. One unit of principes is passing by, but we have got plenty of Illyrians laying down the fire, so these guys are going to have, uh, they're going to have a very, very bad day, no matter how magnificent some of their beards are. Oh, hang on. Here's unexpected, so... The reinforcements are not just going towards the town centre. They've decided to come here, which is not what I was expecting. I mean, there is, there's a gate. There's a gate right there. Okay, that's new behaviour. I would not expect that. I would have thought they'd just make it for the town plaza through the nearest gate. But okay, time for my sand knights to show what they're made of, I guess. All right, everybody get into position as fast as you flip in line. We got some phalanxes here as well. Where is the other flipping Sam Knight? There's a Sam Knight. Okay, you guys just get forward. Hit these guys if you can. Then again, be a little bit careful because, uh, yeah, there is, of course, the uh, slight, slight issue of uh, towers nearby. We don't want to uh, agitate. So keep some more Sam Knights coming in. Over here, just Sam Knights all across. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. Right over here. Maybe, yeah, bring the Scythians up at least a little bit. See if we can just lay down a bit of uh, tempting fire. Meanwhile, you guys just, yeah, just start uh, laying down fire on anyone who passes by. Don't worry about them. I'm more concerned about this guy for the minute. He's pulling uh, way back over here. I mean, there's only 49 of them. We could just send in my own units. I feel like I'd win that fight pretty handily, especially as I am laying down a bit of fire just to wear down the hit points. Okay, he's sufficiently far away from the gate at this point, and we have worn down his health a little bit. I'm just going in with my own general just to basically take him down. He should go down pretty easy. We got some Sam Knights coming in. Support. I'm going to close the door. We're laying down some, uh, some arrows at the same time as well. Round to the back. He's already wavering. He's just getting over here. And that's it. He's done. Lovely. Okay. We've managed to use up, uh, yeah, all the ammunition. So now time to bring in the frontliners, which we are lacking a little bit of at the moment, it must be said. But Thracians under the effect of Warcry should make, you know, pretty easy work of uh, Principes who have already been peppered and under fire and whatnot. Especially as they've been running around the town. So they're exhausted right now. Also, bring in the Sarmatians too, because they could be very useful in terms of, uh, yeah, gaining a bit of XP. So in come the Thracians, and then you are going to be surrounded, and you are already wavering because you are so, so flipping tired. Choppy, 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 chop. Okay, that guy also didn't bother, you know, bringing armor. So I see why there's a bit of a problem here. Okay, now they're routing, and now we can just start wrapping them up. Marvelous. Okay, so... The problem is we've got on the plaza a full-strength Roman general. I'm pretty sure that's the faction here because 83 horses is a lot. This is where I'm very glad I hide some local mercs. Because now I've got myself Sam Knights, I've got Sam Knights, and I've got Phalanxes. Though I'll keep those guys on the side. I don't really want them in the center because uh, these guys are too valuable to be lost in a bit of a tussle at the end of a town fight. So... Uh, Bring up some light cav. Let's see if we can just bait them into all of this. My job here, of course, isn't to engage. It's purely to take one step on the plaza and then pull back. All right. Yeah, how do you feel about me being on the plaza? Because I'm guessing you don't like it. Generally, they don't like that. Yeah. All right. I'm on you, plaza. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Fall back. Fall back. Okay, see so if we can now just lead him 
into the trap. And actually lead him this way. Lead him this way. So just keep clicking in case, you know, he gets caught up the back here. Let's see if we can just pull him a little bit further. That's right. You want to take out my horses, don't you? Bet you want to fight me. And right here, why don't you come and fight me? Come on, keep, keep pulling out. Come on, come on. Sometimes large units scale. They get a little bit stuck here. So yeah, we're going to lose a handful of cavalry. That's fine. Most of them have managed to make it out. I knew there was going to be sacrifices to pull these guys off the plaza. The important thing is uh, the general's being pulled forward. So in just a second, uh, he's going to be engaging with... Uh, there we go. And now he's in. And now we can just send in uh, the Sand Knights. All right, good. Good, good, good. And oh, no, you don't. No, no, you come back here. You come back here. You're not going anywhere, buddy. All right. Now, now you're trapped in a giant pile of flipping Sam Knights. All right. Now we're just going to send in you just to provide a little bit of push and shove. And yeah, as soon as you guys start going in. No, guys, guys. Phalanx. You're a phalanx. Please use the phalanx bit of your phalanx. And uh, down to 67. I mean, they're already dropping. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we've lost a handful of Sam Knights, but look at this. This here, Roman General. All right, he's already lost, like, um, nearly half his strength. All right, these guys do the job. Sam Knights get the job done. Not good in general, but against other generals, excellent. Excellent at just, you know, shoving through, getting what you want done. And now he's routing, and just look at that. Slaughtered. Absolutely flipping slaughtered. And what have we lost to achieve that? Nothing. Sam Knights. Love them. Very cost-effective. Okay, now that poor unit of cavalry, sadly its job's not done yet, because what I want it to do now is lead this guy off the plaza. So I'm going to just have him do a run by the plaza, then straight by over to here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my Sarmatians just run straight in and smash them in the back, and that should be broken done, because he can't break on the plaza. So if I can beat him off the plaza, that's the way to go. I mean, honestly, what I should have done is just kept a handful of um, Scythian arrows uh, for the end here. But I kind of used them up at the beginning, so what can you do? And yeah, look at me. Look at me up on your plaza. And there we go. They don't like it. They don't like that one little bit. So now we just uh, head over in this direction. Might take a few peeler in the back. Not much I can do about that. But yeah, I think they're going to try and... Uh... Yeah, they're going to reload. Uh, though I'm going to be significantly out of range by the time they actually do the throw. So uh, whether they actually throw anything or not is... Uh, questionable. Nope, it's just a fake out animation because I got out of range in time. And now what are they going to do next? Alright, what's your next move, buddy? How about you come over and say hello to me again? Because I'm still here, you know. Here we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, the pathfinding's got a bit on the, the funky side here, so unfortunately you might get some peeler in, so, ah, you know what, screw it. Send in the heavy lads, uh, just send them all the way over here, and I don't know why you're going to visit the flag on the way past, but like, if you want to, I guess you can, that's, that's fine. Yes, sometimes around plazas, pathfinding was always a bit, oh, that's a lot of dead calf, that's a bit of a shame. Do you want to charge now, by the way? I'd appreciate it if you'd like to charge. I'm just going to send in the Sarmatians. The Sarmatians can just smash and bloody hell! Yes, the new arrows sometimes do reveal just how weird and wacky some of the uh, flipping destinations and pathfinding is. And tragically, he's going to get a handful of javelins in on my Sarmatians too. But you guys just start uh, splitting up and going around. Okay, now, you guys just charge from this angle. We're just going to get a good solid charge in. Right, you guys are going to come over here. Then you're going to charge, then you're going to charge, then you're going to charge, then you're going to charge. And that's not a charge. You call that a charge? Bloody hell, guys. That's a charge. Good charge. Up the rear. Right over there. So now we just get over there. We hit them. Hit them with the charge. Pull back and just use the charge bonus over and over and over forever. So now we just pull you back and we pull you back and then we just have you get hit in a second too. And as soon as you guys are far enough... Okay, seriously, you guys are letting me down right now. But in comes some more, and oh my goodness, it's a four-way cavalry charge, which nobody wants to be part of in Rome Total War. So obviously, they would have broken uh, normally. But look at that. Look at the power of the charge bonus. They just collapse from 60 to 40. And now we've kind of broken the integrity of the unit. We're kind of all around them, so they're just going to melt, so it's fine. That's the key of the cavalry charge, of course. It's not just about the damage you do. It's also about disrupting the unit's integrity. So you can actually start hitting them from every angle, not just from the front. Anyway, that could be possibly the Brutii dead. I'm not sure. Okay, he goes down. 
And next up, have we just defeated a Roman family? Because I think we might have done. And obviously we'll be having another uh, 10,000. We did it. Okay, so that there, that's revenge for Patavium, you dicks. And by the way, we won't be needing this here Legion Barracks. So we definitely won't be needing this practice range. That can go down too. Just absolutely spectacular. And I tell you what, we can fix up our boats here as well. Because our boats have taken a handful of knocks. So, I mean, okay, retrain the boats. And on top of that, with this giant pile of money, oh, we can afford large boats. The best, sexiest kind of boats. Oh, and even better, Thrace took by Lazora. And yeah, Thessalonica's kind of screwed right now. So, I mean, to be honest, there is... I do have a spy right here. Now, I'm aware this city currently has the effect of plague, but um, yeah, just in case you don't know, you can turn agents into biological weapons in this game. Get your agent infected and he can spread the plague even further. Then again, spying on Thessalonica, yeah, 44% chance. So I might well die or fail. Maybe I'll give it a pass under the circumstances. Instead, I might just go and have a little bit of a look see what's going on further south. So, uh, yeah, Athens is currently held by Greek cities, not by Macedon, as it turns out. There's a massive rebel army just sort of uh, floating around. That's... Oh, that was the Roman army! Oh, no! You poor bastards! I bet you were trying to take... Ah, oh, they were probably actually besieging Larissa. And next turn, they would have been able to win that siege. But now, oh, the noble Brutii are literally rebels. The poor bastards. I mean, honestly, this strikes me as a good time to potentially, yeah, expand the army. Because we're going up to 17,000 next turn. These cities are valuable cities. This place has got a bloody shipwright right here. All right. I am trading with Macedonia all of a sudden. I have got the money. So, okay. If I've got the money, that means it's time to reinforce our defences. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Barbarian mercenaries. Uh, Sarmatians. Uh, Bastana might be a bit too expensive, to be honest. I'm not sure that's actually worth the trouble. But I could take all of this, bring it over here to a quincum. Just to make sure the Germans don't get any ideas that are too flipping stupid. Also, what's this over here? That is uh, archers, a uh, handful of peasants, rebel general. Okay, you know what? I'm swimming in money right now. We can have... Oh, there's a lot more Illyrians. There's like so many more Illyrians, actually. Okay, you can have uh, one of each. And then you can start heading in this direction. Meanwhile, Porolysium... You just kind of step outside and maybe just buy yourself... No, no. The guy outside, please. Uh, yeah. Have yourself one more Illyrian just for safety. Maybe leave the Bastani for now. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it'll flipping do. I mean, all of a sudden, I might actually be able to flipping garrison my own territory. As baffling an idea as that is. Oh, flip me, the Macedonians have come to me begging for an alliance. No, 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 you dicks. I remember the time you were invading me. So no, you get nothing. And speaking of the Germans, they're starting to become annoying, actually. They're demanding a lot of money to naff off. Though, to be honest, they are... Hmm. They do have a good reputation. Better than mine, in fact. So I'll pay them off for now. Meanwhile, Britain wants an alliance, trade rights, and map information. Now, they are enemies with Gaul and Germany. So, I mean, I do kind of hate Germany. They are annoying. You know what? Go on, why not? Oh, that fleet. That flipping fleet. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're flipping getting somewhere. Oh, yes. And I think the Julia are thinking of uh, attacking. I think they're thinking of going against Agastica. Well, they might be in for a surprise, because we're not just going to let that one go like we do with Salona. Alright, we've got a flipping army moving in that could move to Segestica to reinforce. Oh, and hello, Britain. Okay, Britain's doing really, really well on this occasion. I flipping love it. Now, they have lost one of their starting towns to Gaul, I think. I'm pretty sure Britain starts with that. But, they have got a lot of stuff right over here. Good. Good, good, good. Hopefully, they'll keep Germany nice and busy. 
Because yes, Germany have already eaten the neutral towns between me and them. So we are bordering them, which is a little bit uncomfortable. Actually, never mind. I think we might be a bit late with the whole biological warfare thing. Corinth is also suffering a plague at the same time. Okay, the plague is spreading through Greece. Greece is now just plague central. And the Greek cities have already kicked Macedon out of Corinth. And they were about to lose Larissa. So you know what, guys? You're welcome. Okay, I'll admit, this whole situation throws me for a bit of a loop because my plan was to, you know, take my army, trash some cities, head round over here, and, you know, nip round to Greece. Because Greece is just good quality mercenary central, alright? We could have gone to Rhodes, we could have gone to Crete, we could have nipped into, yes, uh, Sardis and that area, whole bunch of brilliant mercenaries uh, around that part of the world. But, um, the fact we've just literally killed the Brutii... That's rather interesting. That's very interesting, actually. Because this one single ridiculous pirate mercenary army might be strong enough to take out anything the Scipii can throw at me at this point. But if I expand towards Rome, the armies of Rome are going to get involved. And that's too much heavy cavalry for me to kill. And they've got another army hidden somewhere. I just can't see it right now. But they've got more than that. Okay, I can't take on Rome, not yet. If I take out Capua, then there's a risk that that's just going to agitate Rome. I feel like the better bet might be... The better bet might be trying to divide my forces, alright? And when I say divide my forces, I mean into three, which is uh, risky, okay? The main force tries to take out Sicily. However, a small subgroup heads around to Greece and just picks up as many good mercenaries as we can find. Because the mercenaries we pick up in Greece are going to potentially be good enough to take out Rome itself. Okay, this is not what I was expecting to happen. But I've sort of by accident started recreating the historical march of the Vandals. Where we have come from the north and the east. And now we're just sort of sailing and wandering around. Trashing Roman cities for fun. And settling wherever the hell we feel like. This is not what I meant to happen. Okay, I was planning to try and hold my empire around Dacia, then put together a mercenary force, use that to kill Thrace, that would give me access to the sea, and then from the sea I could get down to Greece and build a better mercenary force, and we could start expanding around there. Then we could check out what Rome was doing, like, later. But instead I've accidentally, um, killed a Roman faction, which I didn't really mean to do, but I feel like that's on them for not having more than their starting cities on turn 30. So they kind of brought this on themselves to my mind. Also, I just spotted another Brutii army. Oh my goodness, their entire force, that's why this area was unguarded. Their entire force was over here, waging war against flipping Macedon and the Greek cities. They had a massive full stack army, but they couldn't get back to defend their own cities because I had the naval advantage. That's bloody hilarious, I love it. Okay, so this is genuinely going much better and much differently from what I was expecting. Join me next time, ladies and gentlemen, because... God only knows what's going to happen next because none of this has been according to plan, but it is sort of working. So the Grand Mercenary Pirate Army, where Illyrians and Sarmatians and Hoplites and basically everyone, the Scythians in there too, they are just going around the world, best friends forever, and who only knows where I'm going to attack next? I have no bloody clue. So hopefully you join me next time to find out. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Rome Total War Remasters. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. Oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, come the chariots! Yeah.